I'm Tony Fleming, and this is Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Hey, everybody, thanks for joining us on today's video. Listen, you may say, well, isn't that just a regular BMW convertible? Well, it is a regular BMW convertible, except it's a BMW convertible plus without the maintenance and uh, high insurance cost of the full M package. So this is a 330 CI convertible with the M Sport package. And uh, one of the cool things about this car is that you get some of the great features of the M car without some of the uh, extra high dollar stuff that comes along with it. We also have the original window sticker here, which uh, I'll have Colin come on up and show you guys. But originally this car was $50,420 in 2004. We're shooting this video in 2016. This was a really expensive car back then. As a matter of fact, come on up. Just the M Sport package alone was $3,600. This also has the upgraded uh, Xenon headlights, all right? This does have the Harman Kardon sound system, and I put these uh, wheels and tires on, which I think came out great. We have the center cap for this, so when you take delivery of it, it'll be on there, so I apologize for not being on there. We just didn't have it uh, here. It'll be here uh, any day, so that'll be on there. And uh, instead of cheap tires, Pirelli's all the way around. So, M Sport package, so different front fascia here, okay? Uh, some uh, pieces around here and suspension pieces and mostly uh, interior upgrades as well. So the wheel and tire, so I just wanted to show you guys, I love these wheels. They look so great on this car and again, center cap would be on it and it looks really, really nice. All right. And these are mud and snow tires as well, so they're not Pirelli, uh, just summer tires, so you can use this all season long. All right. Silver paint from the factory, still nice shine to it, looks great. All right, and let's keep walking around here real quick, okay? So, uh, as we talked about, four-wheel disc brakes with ABS. It's got traction control. Come on back here. Got the exhaust system and things for a performance look. If you wanted to get a little M badge for the trunk lid, we could do that as well. All right, okay, long time. All right, nice. So part of it has got a hidden key up in here, but it's electric release right here. Decent storage in here and also has this piece here uh, that you would keep up if you needed more storage inside the trunk. This has to be in its place when the top goes down to so protect the top and protect any luggage or pieces that you have in back. So it's actually a really nice feature and the trunk goes pretty far back there. And it also has a, a ski uh, pass through there. So if you want to carry some lumber or maybe this needs to become your work truck, uh, you could do that too. It can carry scaffolding. That's what makes a great scaffolding vehicle and uh, probably not. So you probably want to take this to the track not to a building convention. All right, so come on up here. This is, a, this, is, this is an engine compartment, but part of what we're doing right now is making sure you understand what you're getting. For instance, when you see original stickers and numbers and things like that still in place, that gives you an idea that the car hasn't been in an accident. You can't buy some of these decals and stickers and numbers that are on the car, and if the car is in an accident and something had to be replaced, you would know uh, that's not the original part. The engine here, three liter, it's famous for its power. Six speed, close ratio transmission, independent rear suspension, right? With a uh, limited slip. And it's an incredible drivetrain. I've driven this car many times and in the world of exotics and things like that, it's one of the nicest driving, smoothest driving cars ever. And for some reason in my mind, I feel like these uh, 2000 vintage cars, uh, this E-Series, was just a little bit better built than maybe even today's newer ones. The newer ones have a lot more maybe technology, but they're also a little more rattly, a little less quality build, and these just feel solid still. So if you wanted a really cool car uh, for not a lot of money, you look at this and you go, wow, this is really a nice looking car. And you're right, it is a really nice looking car. All right, so we have seating for four. You can take the kids, another couple. I have the seat slid all the way back here so you can see uh, the kind of room uh, that you could have up front. And I almost can't even reach the pedals, so there's lots of room to, uh, to move this up. All right, so I have this uh, original window sticker as well as our pictures too here of, of the stuff that comes on the car. This has the upgraded Harman Kardon sound system. What you're paying for is the speakers. So this has an upgraded Alpine sound system. It's modern, so it has a Bluetooth, it has uh, USB, it has all the things that you'd want in a modern sound system. It has heated seats as well, power seats on both sides, power convertible top. And so the M Sport package gives you kind of this uh, carbon fiber look, the special steering wheel, the special suede here for the shifter boot. Um, so there's a lot of nice features in here. 
155 mile an hour speedometer. It's electronically governed to 155 miles an hour. I bet you didn't know that. Most people don't. Uh, 7,500 RPM tack. And it just sounds wonderful the way this, this winds up. So you're getting a lot of luxury features. We're talking about a 2004, and although it's 12 years old, Xenon uh, headlights, the upgraded sound system, leather seats, all that stuff is still inside this car. Cold air conditioning. And it's really, for the dollars, it's hard to find a better value convertible out there. So, having said that, how about I fire it up because it does make a wonderful sound. Hey, one of the great things about these cars is a simple, easy way you can put down the top and windows and everything with just one push of the button so you don't have to deal with a getting out, a getting a boot, unlatching this, moving that. Just hit this one button here on the dash, rolls down the windows, gets it all started. Boom. Here she goes. Look how nice it is. You got out of work, it's a Friday or a Thursday. You got high speed gel in your hair, so you know you got the right proper accoutrements to make sure you arrive in style with your hair still in place. All right, look at that, and boom. Talk about changing the whole look. I love the cloth top of these convertibles as well, because that looks great too. So it tells you on the dash when it's all done, and you have your choice, you can leave that, and it has the One Touch Express for all the windows too, without having to put down each individual window. Nice. All right, so as we close up the video, listen, man, this is a great looking car. You already saw it in the pictures. We saw some of the things that we walked around. The condition of the car, I feel, is above, uh, is above standard for sure, and more approaching towards excellent. 12 years old, but still has some great things. Power windows, power seats, dynamic stability control, xenon headlights, uh, just on and on. The upgraded sound system, the Harman and Kardon leather, full power top. So I don't know, man, it's just a great, great car, especially if it's a car uh, that you can either want to drive to work or you just want to drive it on the weekends, you can do that too. I think they're always going to continue to say, sell in this same price range for the rest of their existence, which I don't think this is ever going to be a $1,500 car. So it has some good value too, and you're buying it at a time when the depreciation is out of it, and it's pretty rare because it has the M Sport package. You know, that package was very expensive. It was almost 10% of the price of the car. Not many people ordered it. They would have ordered uh, either an M and paid extra money or whatever, and you're getting the benefit of that. So, Cool car, great driving, serviced, ready to roll. Call us 301-816-1000. We'll tell you all about it.